today I am playing Solo Rust, and to survive as a solo on an official server, what every player needs is a base that is both strong and manageable. And what if I told you that with my 10,000 hours of Rust experience, I managed to design the strongest and most efficient base that is mathematically possible? The question is, can I achieve this goal on full pop vanilla Rust? Let's find out. The time was 5pm. I was two hours late into wipe, because I forgot what time it actually reset, and so all the clans and players alike would have had time to get set up, meaning I was already fighting an uphill battle. On top of that, I had no blueprints, so I was alone with a rock and a torch, ready to begin. Oh, look at that. Off for a bag already. What a start. You love to see it. You know what? Let's hit a tree. I'm in the mood to get a bow. And there's a stone node there too. Oh my gosh, this is this is the start we want. Now, I've been playing a lot of 1,000 player servers recently, and so I thought I'd take it a little bit easier today. I don't want to torture myself too badly, so we're only playing on 500 pop, which should be uh, a nice break from my usual stuff. As with any fresh start in Rust, you should always begin by checking the map, and deciding where you want to build. A decision that will ultimately change the course of your whole wipe. And I like to push the limits of my solo ability, and decided that I would attempt to build between Launch Site and Mill Tons, two of the most competitive monuments on the map. But before that, I would head towards Outpost, where I could get all the necessary resources for my starter base. I'm gonna get a bag down around here by Mill Tons, just in case I die. Ooh, this zipline actually heads right where I want to go. Maybe I should farm the ziplines and it might get me to Outpost a little faster. In order to achieve hyper-efficiency with this base, it requires a complicated building technique. One that can be quite difficult to replicate under pressure on a live server. I had to be completely prepared if I wanted any hope of succeeding. Now I feel like you guys know the drill by now. The key to better recoil in Rust is having freshly trimmed balls with Manscaped. But that's actually not what I'm here to talk about today. See, Manscaped have launched the brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Because what's the point of having trimmed balls when your face looks like Sassy the Sasquatch? What are you talking about? So, what's inside? Well, the fantastic Beard Hedger Trimmer has a powerful 7200 RPM motor, and you can choose from 20 different hair cutting lengths with the smooth zoom wheel, without having to swap guards, which is pretty nice. Cordless, waterproof, and rechargeable, you can even trim in the shower to save time and create less mess. And pair that up with the lawnmower, and you'll be set for both upper and lower body. And also in the pro kit is the Sweet Almond Beard Oil, the Natural Beard Shampoo, the Coconut and Shea Butter Beard Conditioner, and everything you'd need to style the beard of your dreams with the beard balm, scissors, brush, and comb. Now I was genuinely really excited to receive this kit, and I have been using it since the day it arrived and couldn't recommend it enough. So go to Manscaped today and get 20% off plus free shipping with code Wilgem at checkout. Thanks again to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. Okay, now if I did the math right, I should have just enough components for a crossbow and a nail gun, which might just keep me alive. After recycling an outpost, I crafted myself some weapons to give me a fighting chance against the more progressed players. And with that, it was back out into the harsh land. I would now need to farm resources for my base in the midst of the chaos. Ooh, double barrel. Do I go for that? Or is that silly? I'm gonna hang around. Oh wait, I'm gonna stay away from that. That's quite a lot of players, actually. <laughs> What's going on? Oh wait, two guys are fighting over there. I might actually go for that. That's slightly further away from the base. Okay. Oh, metal hatchet. That's huge. Oh, I got the binos. With the metal hatchet now acquired, farming for my base would be much easier. The problem was, I was now full inventory with a lot to lose. Would I get my base down, or would my run come to an end? Oh, that's not good. Oh, come on. Wait, where's he running? <laughs> what's, what's he doing? Come back, man. 
Bro, why are you running to? <laughs> what? What the fuck? Wait. That guy was not real, man. <laughs> What's he doing? I'm convinced that wasn't an NPC. Oh, I guess we just start farming. I have to get a base down. I'm so full. And while farming a tree, something caught my eye. Wait, come on, please. It looks like it's already been raided, but come on, please don't have a tool cupboard. <sighs> Let's go! That's a free base! Oh, that's scary, man. That's gotta be the guys who raided this base. While stumbling across this base was quite fortunate, I didn't feel any less uneasy. See, this base had clearly just been raided. And by whom, I didn't yet know. But if they can do it once, they could do it again. For as long as I was here, I would not be safe. I would need to prepare to build my main as soon as I could. Okay, it's fine. This isn't going to be my base. This is just temporary. It's somewhere to store my loot. I can put my extra bows and crossies while I get ready to build my main base. Oh, I hate that I don't have an airlock on here. Okay, I need to do some exploring and find out where I want to build my base because it's definitely not here. Oh my god, that guy just got the fright of his life. Okay, I think maybe over here somewhere to the east of launch site might be a nice spot. Between launch and mill tons, we've got outpost. I think this could work. No. Oh. Okay. Uh, same guy. <laughs> Thank you for the revolver, I guess? Unfortunately, I think he lives right in those woods there, which would have been a nice place to build. Damn. These woods are kind of barren. Maybe I build somewhere in these rocks around here? It might work. Oh yeah, I just saw him. Yep. Wait, did he see me? He did. <laughs> this guy's not having a good day. Oh dear. Same guy again. Alright, well, I know where I want to build. It's time to get ready. Uh-oh. Oh no. That's two arctic suits. Oh, I do not like this area down here. Needing to get set up in my new location as fast as possible, I headed out to farm all the necessary resources. With everything I needed, it was time to head over to the build spot. Except, there were those trying to stand in my way. Oh, that guy's so aware. I don't know how he knew I was there. Oh, this is not good. I just want to build, man. Go away. Oh, of course, there's another one. Oh, I hit him. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, let's go, dude. That's a good amount of scrap. And as night began to fall, I finally made it. All right, this spot might be looking good. <sighs> nope, no, 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 no. I really hope they didn't just see me. Okay, I don't think the two hazies saw me. That was really close, oh my gosh. Right, come on, please let me build around here. Please, somewhere. Oh, here. Okay, this could be good. No, there's a base. No, dude. Fuck, I don't know where to build. <gasps> Wait, no, that's the saw, guys. Okay, I just heard boost from inside there. Oh god. Right here, please. Why can't I build? Surely I'm not too close to dome. Ah shit, no, 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 I might be dead here. I'm so dead. Oh, he didn't see me. Oh my gosh. He came hunting. He's on the hunt for me, man. I just want to build. Okay, I think this has to work. This is the only spot I can build. This is carnage. Fuck it. Let's go. While the design will require a complicated technique, I made sure that the starter was simple and easily buildable. An important quality that sets this base apart from some of the more gimmicky bunker designs. Oh, okay, TC down. I think we're okay. I don't care. That'll do. 
keen to take advantage of the darkness, I began working on the second stage of the build immediately. But this was when I encountered a major problem. Okay, now off this single triangle is where we build this slightly complex bunker. Wait, how can I not place that? No. No. Oh, these rocks have screwed me. Wait, is it the dome radius? No. Oh, I'm too close to dome. I can't build the base. Fuck! Yep, despite my hours as someone that never really ran dome, I was caught off guard by the large build block radius, leaving me with no option but to restart the build. Okay, here we go. This is the one. <laughs> I will build this base today, my gosh. With a new base built, it was time for attempt number two. Okay, so that one like that, we upgrade that, and we upgrade that wall straight away. Wait. Oh no. Come on, man. No, what? How could he see me, but I couldn't see anything? Bro, the lighting this game is so annoying, man. Oh, man. My base is still wood. I need to go and upgrade it to stone in case he wants to raid me. Come on, bro. Man, I just need to get to my base. Random star guy. Brilliant. One dead. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> okay, that's good. We got some kids back. With my new base still just wood, it wasn't safe. I had to head back as soon as I could to complete the next stage of the building. Oh, he left my hatchet. Let's go. That's nice. I actually needed that. Okay, right. I need to do this quick before it gets raided. Okay, I need to power through this. Triangle, upgrade to wood. Wall, upgrade the wall. Now we come on the other side, place a triangle, and then a square, and then we go 11 triangles out. Place a triangle there, a wall like that. Break the triangle, build back from here with squares. Now I have to make sure this triangle attaches. Okay, that's wrong. Still wrong. Third time's the charm. One more time. And then build back all the way with squares again. Oh my god, there's a war going on. Okay, half wall, upgrade the half wall. Right. Now I can delete all of these, and I think we're okay. Okay, so... Now I need to test whether this actually worked and I didn't mess it up. Okay, beautiful. And now the question is... If I place a roof like this, does it open up? Beautiful. We're in business. And just like that, I had successfully constructed the single triangle bunker. This would be the foundation that allows my small looking base to tank so many rockets. And happy with the work that I'd done, I almost forgot about the danger. So in terms of bunkers that you can actually live out of, this is as compact as you can get. So it's just a two triangle core with a tool cupboard, you can fit some boxes in as well. And then all I have to do is add one layer of triangle honeycomb, which is really easy. Uh, upgrade the interior to armored and the exterior to metal. And you've got a 23 rocket raid for one of the smallest, most unassuming bases, which makes this so special. Now, obviously, there are like the, the one triangle bunkers you see, but they're not really bases. You can't live out of them. Whereas this is going to be a base that you can comfortably live out of while still being insanely efficient, which you'll see later on. Okay, first up, I need an airlock. Right, so I'm just gonna have for now a double frame like so. So for now, we'll go with a door over there. We'll go with like that. Oh! No! 
bro. Why is he back again? The same guy. Okay, dude. And it's two guys. Oh, no. I better not be getting raided. The first just one. He had returned with a friend. And this could only mean one thing. Okay, I've got stone. I've got a metal door crafting. Let's... Oh! My door got raided on this base. Oh, God. Oh, no. I've nearly just lost everything. Okay, okay. Please, just let me upgrade the core and place the metal door down, and I'll be safe. A horse! Yes! Maybe if I can get back before they come back with molotovs or something. Please! Almost there. Almost there. <gasps> no! No, they're there! They are on my base. Oh, man. Come on. And he already sees me? Okay. I think they're about to raid me. Come on, Sour guys, come over here, please. No. Okay, dude. Ah, I think they're gonna raid me. God damn, man. Ah. Wait, maybe not? Wait, do they already have it? Oh, they've already raided it. Well, that's not good. Yep, my base was gone. All the work I'd put in setting up the complex bunker, potentially lost. I won't lie, my spirits were pretty down. But you guys know me. I will never give up on Wipe Day. And sometimes the worst of starts have led to my greatest experiences. And maybe that can be the tale of today. <laughs> I knew he was behind them. I've just had a thought. So, obviously they raided my base, but I highly doubt they would have griefed it with a tool cupboard, because it was only wood. And so, as long as the main pieces of building are still in place, that the bunker isn't ruined, I may be able to take it back over. But I'll have to see. Oh! Bro, what the fuck? Leave me alone! <laughs> I just want to get my base back. Holy... Six gears, DB, and a Revy. What a day. Okay. Like, what in the world? What did they actually raid? Why is so much missing? What? I'm so confused. Okay. Uh, I think the bunker might still work. There's hope. There is hope. I'm not going to give up. Alright, I'm going to go check my body. Maybe they left the metal door. Please. If there is a rust god, just let there be that metal double door. Where's my body? <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh my god! Am I gonna have a secure base? <laughs> okay, we're in business. Wow. Right, if I can just get enough stone to upgrade those walls, I will then be fully secure. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This is the turning point of today. From here on out, only W's. Oh, someone up here. Oh, what a headshot. Is he dead? No, he's not. Fuck. Wait, 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 wait. He's gonna try and zip line away. Ready for this? I'm gonna wait right here. <laughs> he really thought. He really thought. Ooh, not bad, not bad. 2k stone, I'm ready. Yes, finally. I have a secure base that can tank satchels. Alright, now I just need to get the bunker to work. Alright, here goes. I need to somehow fix this bunker. Okay, I need to make sure this foundation isn't attached to the half wall and is instead attached to the main base. I think that might have worked. Let's have a look. Okay, so when I place this roof like so, and then, ah, yeah. Okay, there you go. So I did that wrong. Okay, so what's the problem? Let's see, if I remove this wall. Ah, okay, so it's that wall that's the problem. That's causing the stability, right? Let's see, how can I place that wall correctly? I basically need to make sure the wall is attached to this foundation and not the wood one. Maybe that worked. 
Bro, Shinnok, stop! What the fuck? Okay, let's see. So I place that one down. Does this work? Yes! I did it! I did it! Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, I can upgrade that wall. I think we're good. Right, for now I'm just gonna have a temporary airlock there because I have no other resources, but I think it's finally done. Oh, what an adventure. Holy shit. And it's only just beginning. Workbench down. After two hours of getting beat down, things were finally looking up. I respawned at my first base, picked up all the loot, and attempted to run it home in the safety of night. Oh no. Oh, that's a lot of rats. Ah. I think I'm good. Let's go. Okay, there we go. We did it. We did it. Got an extra double door from that too. Got all the comps over. We're chilling. With the bunker recovered, my first focus was upgrading the base. Okay, first things first, sorting out this scuffed entrance. So, this will be honeycomb. It was only a wood door just temporarily, so I'm going to upgrade that straight to stone, along with the ceiling. Then I'm going to make my way up here, and I'm going to wall off these triangles. Oh wait, actually no, I think I want the doorway on this side, so we'll have a single door there. Oh, come on, let me place it. There we go. I'll upgrade all of that. I'll leave the frame as wood just temporarily. Upgrade these walls, and then I can put down the double door and the single door, and we're looking good. Okay, now I just need to test that the bunker still works. Please, do me a solid here, Rust. When I place that roof, the ceiling should open up. Beautiful, there we go. Now I can seal off this doorway here, because we don't need that temporary airlock. And relax. We're there. So, the idea behind this bunker is these two triangles will both actually be honeycomb, so the entire core of this base will literally just be those two triangles by the tool cupboard and that one right below me. And that's it. Flame turret for a temporary jump up, that'll do. The base was already coming along. With the bunker sealed, it would cost four rockets to raid directly to tool cupboard, which is not bad. But I know that we can do a whole lot better. My first task was to get some more stone to add the honeycomb. This tunnel reminds me of my cave base adventures. Maybe I should do another cave base soon. Do you guys want to see that? I think it's time. It's been too long. I'm just realizing I've been so focused on getting this foundation of the base sorted that I haven't made a furnace. <laughs> Fuck me. Hey, there we go. We got everything I needed. I got stone. I got low grade for a furnace. We're chilling. We're back on track. With the stone farmed, I upgraded the rest of the core, and it was time for the next task. So as you guys can see, adding these triangles on the outside of the core provides perfect honeycomb, meaning it's a minimum of two layers to get to the TC, no matter what direction you were to raid from. Even if you went through doors, walls, doesn't matter. And the base is very deceptive in that way, because raiders won't expect it to cost as many rockets as it actually will, and so will often bring not enough explosives, giving you a chance to repair. Now, I'm gonna leave that triangle as wood for now, because that will be my roof access eventually, but I'll break that out later when I'm ready. Just gonna shift the double door to that side, and now we have a perfect airlock. Alright, let's seal up this honeycomb here. Beautiful. Right, this is a little scuffed, but I'm going to leave the furnace there while I smelt the bit of metal. Now, you might be wondering how I deal with storage in this space, but actually, you'll find that you can fit a lot of boxes if you're efficient with your placement, which you will see later on. And so, with the base now strong and reliable, it was time to go on my first real roam of the white. Ooh, that was clean. Kill them both with one mag. Alright, come on, have something good for me. Couple of components. We take it, we take it. Oh, that's other guy. Ooh, nice. Not bad, not bad. This is good. These are the kind of wins that I need. Now, I hadn't forgotten about those that had raided me. And if I wanted my revenge, I was going to need some better firepower. 
And so next up on my objectives was getting the workbench level 2. I headed over to launch site to farm some scrap. Ah, fucking wolf. Whoa. What the fuck? <laughs> that was a horse delivery. Thank you, my guy. I appreciate that. The wipe had officially turned around. After a couple of successful scrap runs, I was getting close to the workbench level 2, and the base was developing, but there was much to do to achieve the hyper-efficiency that I described. Now I wanted to expand my base, but stone was tricky to find in my area. But using the horse that the kind man delivered me, I was able to trek far and wide in search for those precious nodes. Oh, these guys have AKs? Wait, that's right over by my base. That's a little scary, actually. Bro, oh, three stone nodes. This is where they've all been hiding. What the hell, man? They're all the way over at Sewer Branch. Bro, oh, why are there so many stone nodes here? And why are there none by my base? That is a scam. All right, I'm gonna go home with that. Yes, I made it home with stone. What a day. That is huge. It's a goddamn miracle. And with the stone successfully brought home, I could finish the honeycomb. Which doesn't take very long with such an efficient base. Well, there you go. We have an eight rocket base. <laughs> you probably wouldn't believe it from the outside, even with the wood door. Actually, I just need to upgrade those ceilings to sheet. But yeah, that, that's an eight rocket raid. And eight rockets isn't bad, but uh, trust me, <laughs> we can get that number up high. And for the next stage of the base, I'm gonna need lots of meth. So it's time to get those furnaces pumping. Now you might be wondering why I'm leaving that frame wood, and it's not actually temporary. I plan on leaving it that way for quite a long time, because what it does is not only does it set the expectations of the raiders lower, but by seeing a wood door, I don't think anyone would expect that a base like this would then be costing so many rockets. Now, let me show you something clever. So we've got a wood door on the front, right? Which means anyone with the right mind is gonna raid this base through that wood door and then through the metal double door. And so if we upgrade the ceilings of this bunker to armored, which only costs 14 high qual, after raiders blow through those first two doors, they will come face to face with a fully armored bunker. I mean, I wanna know what you guys think. If you were raiding this base, how many explosives would you bring? I would assume less than 19 rockets. Wait, hang on, being interrupted by someone. <laughs> oh, that poor guy. Wait, he gave me a rug. Let's go. See, if I was playing just a short one or two day wipe, I could farm up 100 high qual, upgrade the core to armored, and this base would be a 19 rocket raid, and I wouldn't even have to expand it any further. But today, I'm not gonna stop there. No, no. I'm gonna take this base as far as I possibly can. So make sure to stick around to see how I do it. Night was once again falling at the end of a rust day. This time, things were different. The base was down, furnaces were cooking, and I almost had a workbench level too. Just goes to show how quickly things can turn around in a game like Rust. Oh yeah, almost forgot to mention, look how cheap the uh, tool covered daily upkeep is, it's insane. Okay, now the next big upgrade for this base would be to make this a 12 rocket raid from any angle, and that would be upgrading this little core to sheet metal, and that would cost 1,000 frags, which is not too bad. 1,000 frags for a 12 rocket raid, I think that's worth. Okay, now it's time to seal up the other side of the bunker. Beautiful. There we go. So satisfying as well. And no base is complete without a nice lantern. Now when I do this, I tend to just put one large box and two small boxes, but if any of you guys know how to be more efficient in a two triangle foundation with a tool cupboard, I'm really intrigued to see if you guys can fit any more storage into that, but I'm not sure if it's possible. You know what, I've also just thought of something which might be a good idea. I might actually just place a vending machine here, because it sort of has the same strength as a sheet metal wall anyway. Now I do actually have enough metal to upgrade the core, but I want to save it so I can craft the workbench level 2 straight away. 
What's really convenient is that you don't have to actually have the bag in the bunker, unlike a lot of different bunker designs, which helps with being efficient in space. As the next morning came, it was time to focus on getting that workbench level 2. <laughs> oh, that was mean. Oh shit, never mind, that was fully worth it. Why was that guy so juiced? This time, I decided to explore west towards the nearby mining outpost to see if I could farm it successfully. Oh, I don't know what happened here, but it was a fucking war. All <laughs> body bags everywhere. You know, I don't think I need diving fins in the center of the map. Wait, does that guy have... Oh, he's got a red What the fuck? I thought that was a nail gun. Come on, push me. I dare you! <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> Give me that revy. Uh, you know what, I want that workbench level 2, but with no BPs, I think that revolver is going to carry me through the rest of today. It's worth it. Armed with a revolver and now able to craft more, I decided to head to launch site to attempt to farm the other farmers. Please be loaded with launch site juice. Oh, yes. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Five pipes. That was a recycler. Ah, not bad, not bad. At least 100 scrap. Six gears, too. Take that. Well, thanks to that revolver, I pretty much made all the scrap back that I used learning it, so that was definitely a good investment. That was clean. I've done it again. One mag. Bro, I love the Revy. I think it's such an underrated gun. Okay, not bad. Metal hatchet. Uh, it's the rope. The bow, I guess. Put the gloves on, that'll do. What's this guy got? Oh, there's you nothing. And after a couple of successful scrap runs, I finally had enough scrap to craft the workbench level 2. And once I got the blueprints, this would allow me to craft garage doors, the vending machine for my bunker, and much, much more. Let's pick up that level one. Ah, and it broke anyway. Fuck! <laughs> that was so stupid, man. And level two... Down! Let's go. That feels good, man. Wait, I placed that really bad. <laughs> Fuck. Maybe I should pick that up. I don't like that. With the level two down, I could craft the vending machine, allowing me to seal up my bunker. Alright, come on, let me place it. Come on. Fuck, should I have... Should I have placed it before I placed the door? Oh, wait, wait, no, I can, I can. Oh, let's go, that's perfect. And boom. Beautiful. Alright, let's give that a little rotate so I can actually use it as storage. Okay, it's not completely flush, but it still does the job. You'd have to blow it up if you wanted to get through, so that works. And with plenty of metal now smelted, it was time to upgrade some of my core. Beautiful. Just like that, we are a 12 rocket raid at the minimum. And that's without any blueprints like the garage door. And if they break through doors, it would actually be even more, because they'd have to go through the high cold ceiling. My wipe day was coming towards an end. I headed towards mining outposts to recycle for some more frags, and then decided to go on a final run. Don't do it, man. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> he tried it. Ooh, I'm really feeling the revolver today. Damn. Bro, what in the world is going on here? Oh shit! Bro, why are there so many players? Bro, that guy really fucked up. Bro, this 
in that bush somewhere. Oh, he's got to be dead, right? Are they both dead? <laughs> there were two? Bro, what? What is going on? Bro. How many people are there? Another one! Stop! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I am so dead. I actually kind of want to make this back though, because I have a lot of gear. Nice. Not bad. Oh, wait. Bro, I thought I killed him. No! <laughs> I thought I killed him. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> That's another guy anyway. Nah, that was crazy. And so, that was my day one. After a rough start, I'd managed to turn things around. I'd got a workbench level 2, the revolver and pistol ammo blueprints, and a fortified base that could tank 12 rockets. Would it be enough to survive the night? I guess we'll see. But for now, I sealed the bunker and went to bed. Ah, oh, we didn't get raided. Today is gonna be a good day. There's no doubt day one was a roller coaster. But if you thought this adventure was coming to an end, oh boy, you'd be wrong. Because day two gets a whole lot crazier. New neighbors, that can't be good. As I stepped outside for the first time, the world around me had changed. Bases had popped up everywhere overnight, and my location was a very different place. I unsealed the bunker and got ready to begin. I started the day off with some farming to keep my furnaces running. Furnaces fully running, on to my next task. Today, I wanted to get my hands on the garage door, so it was off to dome. Oh shit! I made mean, roof camps. We have mill crates, I think we do. Let's go. No trash, not bad. Oh, refinery, that's huge. Let's go. I'm gonna get that set up. And a laptop, nice. A successful first excursion. Farming almost 300 scrap, it was a good start to a new day. Nighttime came and went. Bradley just got taken, so I headed to launch site and farmed it in the dead of night, getting myself some extra high call to upgrade my bunker. 48 high call from hitting Bradley? That was definitely worth. One more recycle run in the darkness, and morning finally came. Big things are gonna happen today, I can feel it. Server's coming alive. I think people are waking up. Oh, motherfucker! No! Okay, we're good. Using a horse I stumbled across, I made my way to Outpost and bought myself a very special blueprint. The Molotov. Because a good old friend once told me that the fastest way to progress in Rust was to raid. A truth that I may find out later today. It's a goddamn war zone out there. Let's go. We made it. Right, I'm gonna get that molly researched because I want to do some raids today. With my newly acquired Molotov, I headed out on the hunt for some bases to target. And in my area, there was no shortage of possibility. Oh, I think we have our first target. Double wood door and a code lock, you love to see it. Come on, let's start off with a good one. There is a sleeper. Okay. <laughs> ah, you know what? We got a little bit of metal. It wasn't a complete bust. I'd say I made back the 50 low grade. On to the next. This is a very scuffed base. Oh, I see a metal door though. And there is nothing in that square. Okay, I know that wouldn't be worth hitting. Oh, wait. Hang on. Double wood door on this side too? You know what? Fuck it. I think we go in from here. I don't know what this base is, but it's kind of weird. Okay, we got furnace, sulfur cooking. This could be worth. I'm gonna break this twig. All right, what do we got? 
Ah, uh, two metal doors, a couple furnaces. I reckon TC is on the right, so I'd be one door away. Maybe I could come back later, but uh... Alright, let's hope we got these furnaces though. Ah, you know what? Again, not bad. I'd say that was worth the Molotovs I spent. Nothing crazy though. Let's keep going. That'll fund my Molotov addiction. Let's go! 160 animal fat. Plenty more low grade to use. I was keen to keep hunting for some more bases to raid. I knew that eventually I'd stumble into some juice. Which is when I encountered this base. It's an interesting old design. Looks like something I'd build. Uh, metal door, but. Bear rug in there too. Could be worth going through the wall. Ooh. I think we go for this one first though. Wait, double door? Yeah, we definitely go for this one. I'm gonna get the Molotovs. And while scouting the first base, it appeared that I had stirred the base owner's attention. Oh, he has a Tommy in there? Oh, that would be such a worth raid. Fuck it, I just have to keep going. Where is he pushing? Oh. Hey, I just killed him! No way! Let's go! <laughs> that was the easiest toy in my life. Bro, I have to raid that guy. That would be so worth. Right, let's finish this raid. Go on. Oh, empty box. Ah, we got some components. Got a ladder. Let's take that. I need to be really careful of this base now. He's gonna come out for, for revenge. That will be an angry man. Ah, not the best, but not the worst. 20 high qual. We take it. A successful raid, and I got my hands on a Thompson. But more importantly, I found myself a worthy target. And my focus now would turn to raiding him. But before that, some work on the base. Machine metal, that's an extra shelf. Got myself another large box up there. Beautiful rug. I'm really liking this porcelain box skin. It just looks so good. Look at that. That's satisfying. With some metal built up, it is time to get rid of these double doors and get some garage doors down instead. And that has got to be the best garage door skin in the game. I'm sorry, but I think my old favorite has been replaced. Look at that. That is stunning. Holy shit. Dude, what the fuck is going on outside? Running low on wood and not wanting to farm because I'm lazy, I did a quick outpost run with my horse to trade out my stone. This base is so cool, man. From the outside, it's just like this little wood and stone piece of shit. <laughs> it looks like so primitive. But then you step through the doors and it's like, bam, garage doors, armored bunker. It's like a TARDIS on the inside. Base upgraded and it was back to the raid. And I had a plan. The base owners were online and an online raid is a solo is never easy. He had a metal door on the front, but a hole in his ceiling, meaning with a ladder, I could access his top floor. If I get myself in there with a double barrel and some Molotovs, all it takes is a few open doors and some panicked accidents from him, and I could get all the way into the core. At least, that was my plan. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna place the ladder in front of the door so when he tries and opens, he might get caught on it and he won't be able to shoot or something like that. Alright, what do we got? Okay. Wait, that's a backwards wood wall. That's it, too. Ooh, bro, okay, I'm gonna go back and get a sword because I can get into his airlock by just breaking that wood wall. Maybe he's out for a roam? I'm hoping that I have time to go back. No! He's opening doors! Wait, maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he doesn't know. Fuck, I, 
think he knows. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Nice. Fuck the fire! No! Oh, no. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. Oh. Holy shit. I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh, God. Wait, saw. Why do you have a saw? Wait, no. Why am I getting countered? Not now, man. Fuck, I reckon this is his friend, actually. Because he came straight away. Yeah, it is. It is his friend. I hear him outside. Look at him. I see him right there. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. No, he jumped off. Fuck, I think he got the uh, thing back. Yeah, wait. He lives in here too? Oh, no, man. How many is it? Is it three? Shit, what do I do? Fuck it. I think I go back and I get that saw and I get home. Oh my god, that timing. So, uh, fuck it. I'm gonna get out of here and come back. Okay, I got him, I got him. Surely I can get back before he gets back. He must be on so many timers. Knowing that if he had time to respawn, loot the body and get the ladder off the base, he would be able to repair and my progress in the raid would be lost. No way- how? This, is this three people? I don't understand. Fuck, he's closed the door. Okay, I'm gonna start soft-siding this wall, and then maybe that will bait him out again. Let's go! We're in again. Right. Let's get this fucking bag out of the way, man. The raid was looking promising, but I had a problem. I only had two Molotovs left, and I heard a single wooden door open behind this one. And with only three Molotovs thrown on the wooden frame, I would be just one Molotov short of getting all the way to the core. I had to get creative. Fuck man, this is so scuffed, but I'm just gonna have to sort out the rest of this, because if I use that Molotov, I won't have a chance. Bro, he's outside again! Wait, what the fuck? Oh shit! Oh, that was the stuff from the guy that I killed that he managed to loot. Ah, three health! Okay, I've got enough, I've got enough. Fuck it! Oh! No! I'm one door away! Oh my god. If I die now, it's over. And he's got a gun in there. Oh, fuck. This is it. Let's go! I've got it, I've got it! There's a TC in here! Huge! Right, uh, shit. Uh, wait, I have incense shells! I can break TC! <laughs> Fuck, what do I place it? What do I place it? Uh, here. Fuck it. It'll do. Right. I need to seal off that floor. Yes! It's mine. They can't do anything. It's my base! Oh! 750 scrap! Holy shit. That is how it's done. Not a single explosive needed to be used. Just like that, the entire base was mine. I sorted all of the loot, added doors, and made sure they would never reclaim this as their own. I think there's a lesson to be learned here, because they had so much metal. So much metal. They had metal doors, and yet, I was able to get all the way to their core with Molotovs. Like, all I had to do was place one metal door and not have a wood frame, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> And they didn't seem like bad players, just complacent. And with the base now my own, I moved all the loot safely home. Go, 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 go! 
Home! Haha, <laughs> what a fucking raid! That is how you turn a wipe around. Holy shit. After moving the rest of the loot back, I decided to take some time relaxing and doing work on my base. Alright, it is time to take this base to the next step, which means moving my front door actually to my roof, which might be a little bit surprising for some of you guys. But yeah, by not having my, my front door on the second floor, it just makes it even stronger. Now I just need to get rid of that wooden door frame because I need to replace it with a solid wall. This will also give me more storage in my core as well, which is good. Okay, this is now one fluid base. We have roof access. Now I just need to get rid of that front door. But first, I think I'm going to get the whole second floor to sheet metal. Just this change alone and this base will be going to 23 rockets to tool cupboard, which is insane considering how small it is. And it gets better. Boom, front door is gone. Oh, I didn't bring wood. Fuck. Beautiful. Just like that, it's all sealed. Look at that. Fully sheet metal core. No, oh, I'm actually just gonna upgrade the frames to metal because I like the look of the red. <laughs> That's kinda dumb, but hey! I look so much better! And with all the high call I built up, I finally fully upgraded the center core all to arm making this base a formidable raid. For now, I think I would just have a ladder on the outside, but eventually I will actually build a proper sort of build up and what I like doing is leaving it wood, so from the outside the base still looks quite uh, primitive, which is it's quite a funny look, and I think it looks great. I wanted to push the strength of this base even further, so when I saw that someone was selling an armored door on the map, I decided to go to Outpost and buy it. <laughs> nice. My beautiful home. Oh yeah, look at that. So to get the tool cupboard and the vending machine, you would literally have to spend 27 rockets. <laughs> That's insane. And if you're raiding this base through doors, it would be even more. Just think about that for a second. Like, if you're raiding through doors, you'd have to go through, what? Five garage doors, an armored ceiling, and then an armored door. <laughs> and it's like the smallest base ever. Like... Just look at it, man. This does not look like such an expensive raid, and that's what makes it just so powerful. It was starting to get late into date, and I wanted to do some exploring in the faraway Arctic lands to the west, where I stumbled across a pretty incredible find. Bro, people have clearly been doing a lot of raids around here. This is clan territory right now. Armored rig bases everywhere. All of them have just been gutted. There's actually tier 3 here. It's a shame there's an external tool cupboard, because that would be, uh... That would be quite helpful, honestly. No way. Oh! Yes! Holy shit! Wait, that's huge. Frags is like the one thing I needed. Go, 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 go! 6k frags! That is actually insane. That's a lifesaver. Let's go! Wow. What a day, man. Sometimes you just need to put time into a wipe and the entire thing can turn around. Despite it being late, my day two wasn't over just yet. And after some more upgrades on the base, it was time for some PvP. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, 
Someone was just farming those barrels. Oh, he's there. Oh, he definitely lives in that big base. Nice. I'm gonna have to ride to him because there's no way I'm gonna be able to run away from that. Holy shit! No way. Go, 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 go. Tommy. Wait, Tommy gets. Let's go! A cool 350 scrap from that guy. Over 1k scrap. Let's get rid of some of this quick. Let's see this base in all of its glory. <laughs> Oh, I love the uh, ship and container skin too, man. It just makes it look so good. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh, that poor guy. He just got styled on. No, he fucked up again. <laughs> I'll take the python, though. On a roll, I spotted Chinook Crate had landed a train yard. I had to go and investigate. Ah, he was only Revy. That was not worth giving away my position. Oh my god. Bro, this gun does not go where you point it. What the fuck? Oh, there is no way I can loot that guy. Holy oh, shit, I can't even get up there, man. Oh, fuck, I almost got him. No. Ooh. No. This is going to be so tough to loot that crate with him holding. Oh, huge. Right, that, may, that might be what I need to loot. Come on, don't peek, don't peek. Oh, oh he missed. Go, 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 go! Like, fuck it, I'm getting the hell out of here. Let's go. What a run. My word. What a day! I cannot believe how much things have turned around. This has been an insane day, too. Oh, oh, fuck! God, he's gonna be 1 HP. Let's go. Nice little 1v2 to end off the day. And with that, my day 2 came to a close. Of course, it wouldn't be a Wildrum base without some electric furnace set up. So just before bed, I worked on that. Ah, you guys know me. I always like to spend some time making my base feel nice. And what this base needs? Some ceiling industrial lights. <laughs> hey, look at that. Working electric furnaces. Beautiful. Right, let's get those solar panels set up. The only thing to make this more complete, a little Wiljum sign. Just in case if anyone does raid me, they know what they've done. Oh, as you guys can probably tell, I am not an artist. <laughs> this is not my profession. Ay ay ay, this is scuffed. I wish there was a slightly thinner brush. Oh god. <laughs> you know what, fuck it. I'll do, I'll do. I'm just gonna power it up. And now, 
Overall, day two had been a complete success. The base was fortified and could now tank up to 27 rockets, and my boxes were flowing with guns. But now, I must sleep. But how could I end the video there, without showing you the carnage that was day three? Waking up, I was, of course, unraked, and since it was nighttime, I thought it would be a good idea to throw down my supply signal. But oh boy, I had no idea how wrong I could have been. Alright, let's see what's changed outside. How are we looking? Oh, fuck! Okay, well, that's not good. Oh. Uh, okay. Ooh, I didn't get looted. Nice. Bro, what? Am I getting roof camped? Is there a new base? Come on. Oh shit, yep, I've got some new neighbors. Oh fuck. One dead. Bro, I've accidentally started a fucking war. I reckon I can loot that guy. I think he just killed the Tommy guy as well. Fuck it. Oh, get me in. Bro, I am not gonna be able to get this airdrop. There's not a chance. Oh my god, there are so many people out there. Oh my god, I think they are all together in that big base. Oh! I almost just died. Ah. <laughs> Maybe not. He's still just... He's still holding my door, this guy! Holy shit! Yeah, they must all be together. I bet you I'm getting camped. Yep. <laughs> I knew it. That's funny. As you guys can probably imagine, I didn't get the airdrop. It didn't help that a new six-man group had moved in on my doorstep. Bro, what? How many is this? There are two on my base, one on the rock, two on their roof, and I heard a Thompson behind me? Oh, God. Okay, it's been a few minutes. I reckon I'm okay. Oh, I'm scared, man. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh! Holy shit, it was on my roof! <laughs> what the hell, man? That was so mean. But you guys know me. I don't roll over easily. I have a plan for this guy on my roof. Come here, motherfucker. <laughs> I knew that would work. Oh, they're not happy. Wait, I need that star. Yes. <laughs> Fuck you, bitches. Wait, there's another one coming. I'm gonna get him as he comes up the ladder. Weren't expecting that one, bitch. Oh, we've still got someone on their roof. <laughs> Oh, fuck it, run to the other base! <laughs> There's no way I'm getting home! Oh, shit! Oh, they are not happy with me. Is this base still mine? It is, let's go! Wait, someone raided that. <laughs> oh well. It's still mine. Well, that's convenient. Bro, there are so many of them, they're just kind of swarming around this area. Ooh. Oh. Go, 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 I think I can get in. This is insane, man. <laughs> Living right underneath the fucking Zerg. It's not quite a Zerg. I don't know how many it is. It could be more than six, but... Oh, God. It is a lot of them, because that's them fighting over there, and they've still got two guys outside my base. What? What the fuck? Is that them raiding? What is going on today? This is insane! Wait, I can definitely kill that guy. I'm gonna do something here. Nice. Right, fuck it. We go loot. Oh! Okay, that was another one there. Woo! 
Okay. That's a little scary. That's a little bit scary, man. What? I need some cover. No. No. Okay, I have cover. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Wait. <laughs> oh, that was too slick. Wood just looks really good with this red shipping container, actually. This base kind of looks insane. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's going on over there. I have a feeling I might be getting raided at some point, though. Let's get that garage door down on here. Beautiful. Another Thompson. Thank you very much for that loot delivery. Oh, wait. That guy's about to run past this rock. What the fuck? What, what the fuck? Where did that guy come from? Give me the MP5. Go, 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 go. Back to base. <laughs> Back to the shed shack. Oh my word. Well, I've only been on this server for about half an hour today. And it has been... <laughs> Absolute carnage. I have more loot than to know what to do with, man. And with all the loot piling up, I decided it was finally time to actually organize. Damn, considering I haven't actually crafted a single gun this wipe, apart from a revolver, it's not bad. I think that's really coming along. Boxes are relatively organized. We've got our little weapons box. We've got our gun box downstairs. We've got food in there. We've got resources. We've got components. Clothes. Random shit. That's not bad. Not bad. We can squeeze our bedroom in up here. I can get a little box for, for a kit up here too. Might be cool. Alright, I'm gonna upgrade this to stone because I reckon I could get a ladder hatch in that top corner and that would be nice. I hope you guys appreciate how, actually, despite this base being so ridiculously hyper-efficient, it honestly just works quite nicely as a base. Like, I don't feel too cramped. I've got all the room that I need as a solo. I've got plenty of storage. Like, I don't know. I'm actually really, really happy with this base design. Oh, you know what? I think I'm just going to upgrade all of these to armored. Oh, do I do it? Fuck it. Fuck it. This is gonna be a hell of a tanky base, I can tell you that much. Oh god. Ah, fuck it. I'm gonna spend my scrap. Right, I want the ladder hatch, and I also want the locker. Oh, that was actually very expensive. God. I just think a ladder hatch works perfectly in this base. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. <laughs> I just feel quite high up on here. Oh! Motherfucker. There goes my legs. <laughs> it looks so goofy now with that armored. But holy shit, is it hard to raid. Where that mini copter's going? Oh, is it landing? I think that might be landing. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, is it coming right towards me? Wait, I killed him! Oh, he's so prim. Oh! <laughs> what the world? Alright, well, there goes my stone problem. Oh my god. I 
with just one simple layer of honeycomb, once again, we make this face infinitely more difficult to raid. So adding this layer makes it so that no matter what direction you raid from, it is impossible to raid this base for cheaper than 27 rockets to tool cup. I mean, is that not, like, incredible for a base this small? I mean, just to put that into perspective, raiding a normal 2x2 two two is 2 rockets. Or 4 rockets if you go through the roof. And this is 27. And it's literally the same, it's like the same size as a 2x2. Two two, just a few floors higher. Like, crazy. And after adding the honeycomb, the base was finally complete. And I decided to go on one last run. Ooh, EK. Hello. Oh, that's not good. Wait, they're coming. They're coming. Oh, oh shit! 